guys, I made a little mistake there towards the end. I'm gonna fix it for you. But that's Thin Lizzy with Emerald per request of Nuevo Kid. And you know, one one of the things, you know, if you guys have been following me on this channel, you know, I, I try to get these songs exactly the way these bands are doing them. And I will keep making that the goal. Um, in this song, I noticed they're tuned um, standard, but it's actually um, a quarter step down from standard. And I was like, should I just do it at standard? And But I've decided, I think, as of today, and I have done this on most of the other ones that did these little weird things, if it's a quarter step, but on some of them, I would just be like, okay, I went ahead and tuned a quarter step. You guys just, if you want to get it exact, go a quarter step down. I'm going to do, even when they're a quarter step down, 100% of the time. May as well. <clears throat> now, I made that little fumble part. I don't even know if you guys heard it, but... I'm not going to redo this just for that. I want you to know I'm real. And there's little flub ups that us guitar teachers make too. But I know what it was and I'm going to teach it to you. That was 99% right what I just did. So I'm going to come in close. But if you want to tune, you know, standard, it'll be close enough. Um, this is off the studio version. Okay, there's two guitars. Actually, I think three in Thin Lizzy. So this is a. Uh, one that's standing out in there. It'll go fifth fret D and G and um, bar that with your middle finger and also bar the fourth fret D and G with your index and you're gonna pick string four and three and pull off. And then go open A, second fret D, it's an A5 power chord, just hit strings five and four. So you have, okay, three E, five A, and then three A, five D. It's a G power chord and a C power chord. That's next. And then start it over. And reverse those two power chords at the end. Now it's C5 to G5. So 3A, 5D to 3E, 5A. Then go back to the first one you did. And here's the fourth one. Start it over. And then go 3E, 5A. And then go. 7A, 999, D, G, and B. I like to bar stuff like that. Some people like to cram fingers. It's not wrong. It's how you're comfortable. Two times on strings 5 through 2. So we have... So I would go down, up. And then on the low E string, palm mute it and go down, up, down. So... You're going to do that twice. But on the second one, don't do the... Instead, you're going to loop back into... So in, in essence, here's what's happening. And then... Start that all over. Just repeat it all. It's two times. Um, the end of the second time, you stay on this an extra two times. In other words, it'll go... That was three, right? Then your fourth one, you hit strings five through two and slide it basically into nothing. It's a descending slide, like get to around fret 3, 5, or 2, 4 and just karate chop it here and that'll stop it because you don't want to hear the end of that slide. And then for uh, my subscriber that requested this, you didn't uh, request this part, but I showed it to you anyways. What you wanted was this next part, which is really cool. It's uh, 7D and 5D. Um, I would set them both down. Alternate pick. Go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and then pull off. Seven times, but alternate pick. Pulling off to five, then pick seven and five on the A, down up. And then eight E. So we have. And then up on five E. It's a A minor pentatonic scale. After you hit that once, then go one, two, three, four, five, six. Really at seven times. Depends how you want to break it up. And then move over to the third fret and you got to rest there. You let it ring. Then go. Down, up, down. So down, up, down, up. Hammer onto the fifth fret from three to five on the E. And then three A. And then go, through on the 3A, go, after you hit that first one, go, down, up, down, so, down, up, down, 
5A slide to 7. And then 5D. Well, after you hit that 5D once, go down, up, down, up. 7A. 5D. 7D. So. Then. And here's where I made a little mistake in the intro you saw. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, five, these are all pentatonic, you know, there's five pentatonic scales, so that's what they're using through all of this. 5G and 2G, set them both down, pinky and index, go triple it, triple it, pick, so seven hits. And pull off the two, so 5D, back to 2G. 5D, 2D, so it's a good subgroup, guys. Right there, think subgroups. And then go 5D, pull off to 2. Pick 5A. 3A. 5A. 3A. 3E. And then this one, because that's going to ring out, this one you learned earlier, it was... Remember that one? That was the uh, the second chunk, of, you know, when we went... Right here. Okay? Um, yeah, that rhythm guitar behind that is like... So, don't get confused in that. That's two different guitars doing that. If you have questions, let me know, though. I'm here for you guys. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Once you've done that, send me your favorite songs, and I will get them for you the way these bands are playing them. My website is rockinguitarlessons.com. By the time you watch this, my website should be up. It's $25 to join and become a premium member. Um, it's a pick up your guitar and play website. It's not one of those things. We're all busy, man. I get it. Um, adults and kids. So the last thing I want you to have to do is have to study a book before you can play this sucker. You don't have to do that on my website. So $25. Just don't go out to eat once. And you get it for the whole month. So, um, and it's all styles, all levels, everything. Um, let's see, what else? If you want to do some personal lessons on Skype, I'm teaching guitar and bass. My wife is teaching people how to sing. And um, it's the same rates for my private students at the music stores I teach at, which is $50 an hour or $25 for a half an hour. You can block out, you know, a day a week for the month if you want to be assured to have that spot, which is what uh, my other subscribers are doing. Actually, all of them are doing it that way. You don't have to, though. Um, and let's see. My, my Skype name, Rockin' Guitar Lessons. Add me only if you're going to be doing Skype lessons with me. if Because if if, uh, I'm getting requests for it, but... Uh, not hearing nothing so if that's the case no offense but I'll be deleting it because I want everyone on there to be my students it's just easier for me to understand that way um, especially as this grows I'm thinking down down the road too um, if you are in a position where you would like to donate to this channel it would be awesome um, I'm trying to uh, move more full-time into this direction and my Skype lessons and my website and uh, leave one of the stores I'm at so um, but I'm kind of stuck there because I have to stay there financially. Um, so your donations go to good use, trust me. It's freeing my time up to be here, not to just kick back. I love doing this. I love this YouTube community, and I think all you subscribers are amazing. And then you get your occasional hater. Love them, too. You're welcome as well. Um, we will talk to you guys later. Like I said, if you have questions, let me know. My email is uh, tvxpunk, or no, my PayPal, if you want to donate. I didn't give you that email. My PayPal email is tvxpunk at aol.com and my regular email if you just want it is uh, rocking guitar lessons at hotmail.com okay so I'll play this on the outro for you I'm freezing I got the heater going my next lesson I should be warmed up here see you later